You keep mentioning, But, I think for the third time, I've heard the, the word remorse. Why are you saying that it's part of your remorse? Yung pagsisisi ko ba, sir? Yung, no, yung ano ba sa English yan? Nagsisisi ka dahil? Nagsisisi. Nagsisisi ako sa mga nagawa ko na, na nagastos ko yung ibang pera niya. Okay, very good. Mr. Henry, McHenry, how are you, sir? Not too good. Not too good? That's the reason why you're here. Well enough. I'm glad to be here and thank you for the opportunity. And I'm glad to have you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Can you tell us your story, uh, Mr. McHenry? Met Leah in late 2017. Okay. Married in Australia, registered here, October okay. 2019. Okay. Thought I had the idyllic life. This is just a beautiful country. Thank you, sir. She was a beautiful woman. Are you still the husband of this girl? We, we are still technically married, yes. Okay. There's no divorce happened yet or no it, it can't under australian can't. law it, it needs to run i was very comfortably retired i've been a successful attorney and then a resort operator uh, i thought my life was mapped out wonderfully for me and where did uh, you meet sir here in the Philippines? online we met online, online. in uh, october or september of 2017 and online. we physically first met on the 17th of november 2017 2017. And yes. Where's that at? Here in the Philippines? Or Philippines. Here in the Philippines. I came to the Philippines. Okay. And which province is that, sir? Cavite. Then what happened, sir? Everything was fine. COVID, of course, was terrible for everyone, but we got through that quite okay. well. I spent all that 16 months in a row here with, with Leah. Okay. Thanks to your wonderful government that didn't insist that I leave. Okay. Um, Things were going well, and then out of the blue, I'd gone to Australia in early 2023 for mm. my daughter's wedding. Okay. I had entrusted Leah with our money and our assets, mm -hmm. and really for the first time, I needed to call upon Leah to give me a significant sum okay. in order that I could assist in funding my daughter's wedding okay. and giving her a decent wedding gift. Okay. Well, that the alarm bells started ringing pretty well immediately. Um, I was given a cheque that bounced and was drawn on a company which had been liquidated 10 years previously. How much was the cheque for, sir? Uh, US $39,500. That's more than a million. So, um, obviously, things deteriorated very quickly from there. Um, mm. Nobody had seen Leah physically since late January, early February of this year, of uh, 2023, sorry. Mm -hmm. I flew to Manila and then went to the family home in April of 2023. Okay. Leah was not there. Okay. Um, I'd been prompted to go by phone calls out of the blue from a neighbour in our subdivision. Okay. Who her health, herself had lent a significant sum of money to Leah mm -hmm. and was out of pocket that sum. Leah did, did you buy properties even, Cavita, sir? Um, I was told we bought investment properties in Cebu. How much is the um, amount that you gave her? I, I think the original investment was about uh, 300,000 Australian dollars. 300 times 35. 10.5 million. Yes, and in bearing pesos. in mind, half of that was a friend of mine. So, my so half of that was loan from a friend of yours? Yes. Okay. Guaranteed. It was a loan gu gu guaranteed, guaranteed by me. Guaranteed by you. Yes. Well, he didn't know my wife that okay. well. Okay. I'm just curious, sir, because you said you gave her... About 32 million altogether. Yeah. Why did you allow to reach it to that big amount when you said in the first time she issued you a bouncing a bounce check? Oh, that was at the end of our relationship. Oh, at the, the end. Check. Okay. Yes. When did it all start? Her asking money from you? Oh, pretty pretty soon after we had met. It was late in the year by the time we met. 2018. Yes, and I so think in what I think what I've provided to your staff is that. Between meeting in November 17 okay. and March of 2019, uh -huh. the total sum advanced by me was some 4,200,000 peso. So the bulk of the financing by me began after 
March okay. 2019. Okay. Were those monies uh, you gave her, was it as a result of her asking it from you or you giving it to her? Oh, no. Because you wanted to give her money or support or something like that. I wanted to invest or co-invest in a business with her. Oh, so, so it was her who offered business opportunities to investment yes. to you. <coughs> yes. Okay, and because you did trust her at that time, Completely. so you never said no. You kept saying yes and then keep giving her the money for the yes. investment. Yes, sadly. Okay. Yes. Sadly, until it reached to like 30 million in pesos. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Okay, was it every single month or every week or no, if quarterly? You, if you, you'd see, if you studied the bank statements which I've provided your staff, it's very ad hoc and um, it, it's not consistently each month, it's not consistently each quarter. It's as and when she asked. And, you'll, and some were incredibly modest amounts of money, you know, perhaps... 2,000 peso, 5,000 peso, something okay, like that. Okay, very good. Maria Leonora Nassis is already on the phone. Okay. Would you like to talk to her, sir? Sure. Okay. Maria Leonora Nassis, good afternoon to you, ma'am. Afternoon, sir, Tolfo. Ma'am Leonora, opo, nandito po yung husband nyo, si Timothy, Gerald, ma'am. Apo. Would you like to talk Darinig to her? Darinig ko po lahat. Go, go ahead po, ma'am. Yes, I've, I've, I've heard everything what he've said. Okay, go ahead And po. I don't deny the fact that he did give me some money. Okay. But you have to ask him in return, how many years does he live in the Philippines without spending a dime? And how much is he spending for his booths and his food and in all the holidays? Does he give me money for that? All he counts is the one he gave me. But he never counts all the expenses that comes out from the pocket of the money he have given me. Well, sadly, that's where we'd have to disagree because... Much well, of much, all, all our holidays were finan- funded by me, for, for starters. It's not. Secondly, it's not true. I have my own receipts that it came from. Which it came from, that? from my account. Okay. Yeah, what what so, business was that? Anyway, Tim, the the bottom of this is, we have agreed. You have forgiven. We agreed. We tried to fix this. And I have signed the documents, handed over you the house and everything you asked me to sign for just to make this as as peaceful as possible. And here we are. What is it that you want from me? What else do you want from me? I've signed everything you asked for. You threatened me to the max. You threatened my daughter. You threatened my mom. You kicked them out despite of the agreement we have on top of that signing the documents and endorsing the property to you. Mm, I, what I, did you do? You kicked them out of I, the house prior to the sales if you, of the property, if, which you have promised you will never do. And then the even, moment they walked out, I'm sorry, Sir Tulfo, the moment my mom and my daughter walked out that door, he brought in her mistress in the house. There is no mistress, point one. Oh, the moment, come on. The moment. You can deny, no, you can deny all you want, Timothy, but did you ask her? Do you know, do you even know that she's emailing me? And yes, she's I texting do. Yes, that link? I do, I do. And she's, she's, you can deny anything. You can deny all you want that she's not your mistress, but she's been telling people and she told me on the email that she is your mistress and you started the relationship last year, February. Thank February? You. No, I don't I think have so. that. Can I, I have just that can email I just deal with me. just deal with your okay. allegations? Firstly, I sent an eviction <laughs> notice to you concerning the property when I discovered that you were offering it for sale clandestinely. That is your allegation, Tim. For, I told for, you I have I have denied that allegation. You have, even it though it wasn't me. Okay. okay, I'm curious about the two properties i think you did mention about two properties mom that you signed over to uh oh, po, sir, mr mckenry sinain sa kanya na full full mayroon pa siyang unrevocable unrevocable spa okay Chaka, well, what are those properties mom which, okay, which properties are those are we talking about mom the one in das marinas po das marinas and because you said two so you signed it over the uh the uh to him, title 
ang ang bahay po ko sir kasi ang sa ang sa Cebu matagal na po yun bago pa mag pandemic alam niya yan you know you know what happened to the property in Cebu Kim. so you don't bring it don't bring it over in this problem kasi the only concern is that you wanted the house you we, what we discuss is i sign the house over to you and this is all gonna be peacefully mended And okay. you promised me that we're gonna have a new life, this and that. And so, you know, you conveyed me for it. Magkano po yung property sa Cavite? Mga nasa six mga, um, kung, kung era i, iwawas to po yan, sir, sa market value, mga nasa 7.5 siguro. 7.5. That's the only property that uh, you signed over the title to him, worth 7.5 million. Is there any other property aside from that, ma'am? No, that's that's the only property that's, that's been signed and endorsed. Okay, to him. and then there's been an, a verbal agreement or re- written agreement that there the will be an agreement. No, it 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 is. It, this is because I trusted him and with all I sh- to show him that uh, my remorse of what I've done because okay. I did I accept the fact, sir Tulfo. Yes, ma'am. Na 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 na, na ano ko talaga. I I I was hooked with the casino. I had a problem, so I did sp- spend some of the money, okay. and this is. Because to show him how much my remorse is as a wife and as a mother to my daughter and, and, and a daughter to my mom, I have signed fully all, everything he asked me to sign. And okay, aside with, from the properties, which other properties or money considerations did you sign over to him as a result of that agreement that you did have, like you said, as part of the uh, conciliatory arrangement? That's the only property, sir, because that's the only property that's left. And besides, I also have proof from bank to bank that I'm, I've, I, did send, I did pay him back some money. And how much did it uh, I, I probably amount to? given him back about 40, 30 to 40,000 um, Australian dollars. Okay, on I top can, of the 7.5, on top of the property in Das Marinas, you also uh, gave him back monies amounting to... 30 to 40 thousand Australian dollars? Is that what you said? Yes. Opo, opo. Would you like to react, sir? Transfer po yan. Transferred. Transferred. So, so th- those two that you did mention, the money and the property, that's part of the agreement for you to settle amicably. Yes, sir. Did I get it, it right? Is. And it, it, even, even, even the fact that I have not even read a single paragraph of that letter he made i just signed it just to show him that that's how much my remorse is and well, i you, trusted you keep, i didn't you, even had i didn't even had a copy of it sir wait a minute you keep mentioning But, i think for the third time i've heard the, the word remorse why are you saying that it's part of your remorse yung pagsisisi ko ba sir yung yung ano ba sa english yan nagsisisi ka dahil nagsisisi nagsisisi ako sa mga nagawa ko na, na nagastos ko yung ibang pera niya okay very good so inaamin niyo po diba, meron ka mga pera na gastos na hindi mo ko, dapat hindi pera, pera, pera niya uh-huh. okay whether or not there's remorse there's never been an explanation given to me for uh, where all this money went save and accept that it went to gambling principally at a premises called city of dreams but i'd like that confirmed if is that the case or is it not Yeah, she did um, mention about gambling, I think. I yes. remember, yeah. And um, and as for funding our food, day-to-day necessities, travel and such items, um, I, my finances are an open book. You have a copy of them. Uh, see how many payments there are to American Express and to uh, MasterCard, where those cards funded by me, always by me, paid for by me, are uh, funded our day-to-day necessities and our... Um, our uh, extracurricular stuff like uh, holidays and journeys. I I can't imagine Leah could prove that she once paid an airfare uh, to or from Australia. Okay. Sir, what is it that you like? You want from her now? I want a, a genuine accounting for where my money went. If it's gone, it's gone. But all to date I've been glibly told is, sorry, I've lost it, I gambled, I had a problem. Well, show me. That okay. That is the so, case. okay. I just want to make it clear, and she's listening right now. You just want a thorough accounting. Yes. Of all the monies that she spent. Yes. Where did it go? Yes. How was it spent? Yes. And then after that, if she can present you those documents, everything's going to be okay. I, I'm a realist. If the money has gone, it's gone. I can't. And you can ask call it quits. Who, call. I can't ask her to print new ones. Yeah, but all you want is is an honest to goodness accounting of all the monies that was spent and yes. where did it go? Yes. Okay. And, and and some serious cooperation with 
in fixing the mess she's left me with. It's only last week or the week before. Okay. How can I how can I give him the account accounting process? What how much I I I lost in the casino? Maybe we can ask the casino to provide a video every time I'm there and he himself knows that we, the casino city of dreams are giving us a week or two weeks free accommodations and food how how does he think that's possible if I'm not spending that much in the casino you can he be himself has been there with me it's uh, yes I have and I enjoyed myself yes thank you spending, <laughs> spending spending 10 peso a time gambling on those fake horse races 10 pesos 10 pesos a time Ten pesos a time. Yes, I mean, gambling on the on the fake no, horse races. No, that's that's what he's been he's been playing with that machine that he's playing oh, with while that, I play okay. with other upper while I play okay. with the other in, machines. In, in, in any event, it, it's inconceivable that uh, Leah didn't have some sort of financial arrangement with City of Dreams, where rewards were issued based on turnover and participation by her in gambling at that premise if you don't believe it that it was all spent to the casino where did it go as far as you're concerned it might still be there but she did admit to you that she spent all those monies in the casinos city of dreams she's she's claimed that's the case and yeah. if it is the case i've i have no choice but to accept it okay. and move on but i'm surely with this amount of would money, would you like? Would you like the casino? Yes. To, to give you records of yes. the money she spent. Yes. I don't think it's going to be possible. It's very hard. If everyone is telling me that no one can ascertain whether that's truthful or not, then that's a reality, but a very sad and dissatisfying reality. So you're not satisfied her telling you that she spent all those monies in gambling? No. She must have sent, spent it somewhere else. I, I say it's possible. There have been other um, gentlemen involved whilst we were married. I don't know what... Oh, so you're thinking maybe she spent it on another guy? On, an, on another guy? Quite possibly. I don't know. I know she's borrowed money from other neighbours in our village and spent that money visiting other guys. Oh, so, ma'am, so, hindi siya niniwala na sa kasino mo lang naubos yung pera, eh baka raw yun ay nabigyan mo sa mga lalaki. Hindi po. Wala na po akong magagawa. I, I can't do anything... If he won't believe, please note that I have signed and endorsed the only home I have left sa kanya mm -hmm. without even reading a single paragraph of it, kung ano yung pinarmahan ko, just to show him that I feel really bad and I have the genuine and pure na ibalik sa kanya whatever I can para mabayaran yung kapatid niya tsaka yung kaibigan niyang kiniklaim niyang may utang. Ayan lang po yan, sir. Eh. Ayan lang po yan. Eh. Tapos na yan. Eh. Kaya lang, they're trying to reach me this past... The, the, ang kabit niya kasi ang nag-email sa akin kaya hindi ako sumasagot. Kayo naman, sir, sa katayuan ko, asawa ko, asya pa yung matapang. Opo, opo. Nag-email siya sa akin, sir. Ini-email niya ako kung ano-ano pinagsasabi niya sa mga kapitbahay. Okay. She's living in my house. Bahay ko oh. yun, sir. Tinanggal okay. na yung anak ko doon at ang nanay ko dahil pinauwi na yung kabit niya doon. Ay, so the same house, sir. the same, sir, na umalis yung mga, yung anak ko at yung nanay ko umalis. That same afternoon, pagkaalis na pagkaalis mismo, dumating yung kabit niya agad. Nasa kabilang bahay lang pala nag-aantay. Okay. I have proof to that, sir. Okay. Mr. Yun, yan ang motibo niya. Gusto nilang ibenta yung bahay. Gusto niya ibenta yung bahay. So, on top ng lahat pero, 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 ma diba, na pinagmahan ko sa kanya. Na-assign yun na sa kanya yung Das Marinas home? Yes, sir. Opo, opo. Ewan okay. ko kung bakit kailangan ko pang pamahan. The, the house in, in Das Marinas has already been assigned to you? There is a, a power of the, attorney. The, the, the document, the, the title of that property has no, been signed no, over has, to you? It, a power of attorney has been signed in my favor. Right, title, in your favor. So, title, you, so technically you own that property. No, it's not already true. been signed over to not you, not true. yet? No. Ma'am, sabi niyo po, eh, naibigyan niyo na po sa kanya yung property. Sir, ask him. Uh, please ask him. I signed everything he wants me to sign. Okay, so you're willing to do that? piece of property. Not true. Look, sign ko na po sa kanya. Sign ko na po sa okay. kanya. Sa kanya Wala na po, pati irrevocable. So, pati yung irrevocable SPA. 
Mama, Saka, ito man din si Ma'am Ann, magandang hapon sa'yo Ma'am Ann. Good afternoon po sir. You, you're dead. I-clarify ko lang po yung... Kayo pong girlfriend niya ngayon? Opo, nang yung nagmatang, mata, uh, nagtapang-tapangan po ako. Mm. Ang sa akin, nandyan yung email ko sa kanya. Pinaliwanag ko sa kanya, being a mom, may mga anak ka, bako kayo dumating sa korte o kay Tim, kay Sir Tulpo, bakit hindi niyo ipapats up ito? At ano ba ang papel ko dito? Huwag mo ako akusahan na halimbawa, interesado ako dito kasi ang purpose ng bahay, humingi sa akin ng tulong si Tim kasi may utang daw siya sa kapatid niya na 4 million okay. at saka 3 million sa kay Mark, kailangan niyang babayaran kasi iniipit siya sa Australia. Okay. So, ma uh, an, wala akong magagawa, sabi niya. Uh, anong maitulong mo sa akin? Kasi wala akong pera. Okay, let us say, sabi ko, ang maitulong ko sa'yo, e garage sale mo na lang yung gamit mo para may pera ka. Clean the house and everything at i-endorse... Ma'am, ma before we go on further, now, is it true na yung buy sa Dasmarinas worth 7.5 million ay ina-assign na niya dito kay Mr. McHenry Pinirman daw niya lahat ng mga documents that needed to be signed and he did sign it. Is it true? Oh, yes po, sir. Pero explain okay. po ng attorney kasi ang bibili halos mga pag-ibig loaner. Ngayon, sa pag-ibig, kailangan nila po yung title po. Nasaan yung title? Uh, wala pa po kasi nasa kanya yung okay. title. Okay. So, Ma'am Leonora, uh -huh. kung talagang naka-assign na sa kanya, ba't di mo pa release yung title? Ibi padala na dito kay Mr. Sir, McHenry. Sir, wala, wala po sa akin ang title. No? Sa, hindi pa po nai-issue ng Phil Invest. Kaya nga po, ang hmm. Phil Invest, binigyan ko ng authorization yan siya. Naka-authorize oh, okay. yan doon siya. Sige, makakatulong wala. po kami. So, so the, the title is with Phil Invest and we can help you on that, Mr. McHenry. And we would tell Phil Invest to release the property, the title of the property to you. Yes. Okay? Yes. Okay na po yun, ma'am. Tutulong yan po kami. Yan lang po yan eh. Yan lang po, sir, ang problema niya. Ba't, niya ako, ba't nila ako ginugulo? Pa tapos na eh. Nagpirma na ako eh. Okay. Huwag na nilang guluhin. Pinahiya pa nila yung pamilya ko ngayon na nalathala pa sa lahat yung problema. Di ba? Okay. So, once you get the title to that property in Dasmarinas and plus the SPA coming from Maria Leonora with that office and you... Having this amicable settlement finalized, sir? As, as long as we don't lose sight of the fact that I still require, to what extent it's possible, confirmation that a vast sum of money has gone down the drain at City of Dreams. And I don't think it's unreasonable that I ask that. Like I said, sir, I, I don't think that's going to be possible each and every sense. She has to get proof that it was spent in the casinos. That will be very, that's going to be very hard to do. Even if, she, even if she's registered as that, an account holder at that casino. Well, if she have a card, member who bakay? She's got a card. Card member who bakay, ma'am? Yes. Nang casino? Uh, nag, Nagpa-member po ako lately na lang po. Nung nalaman ko nang meron pa lang ganun. Tama nga pala, tama. Pero okay. yung, kasi kung meron ka palang card, kung meron ka kayong card, kasi every time na nagpapalit ka ng pera, eh, nina-register yun. Buti nga, nabanggit yes, ka pala. Yes, sir, pero the thing is, ang nag-register nag po ko lately na hindi po nung start ng gambling. But hold on. So, pero, pero sir, sir, before you accuse someone of having an affair with someone, you should look in the mirror first because you have right next to you well, My marriage girlfriend. is well and truly over and has been for 12 months. Okay. But she did mention to us a while ago that it was you who first sir. had a, a, had a relationship with another girl. That's okay. not the case. So, but anyway, you wanted her to go to City of Dreams. She's got and, a card and, where she accumulated points with every time she pulled down on a slot because, machine handle. Because, because your suspicion is she did not spend all those monies in the casino. Instead, she spent it on some other guy. Is that what you're leading to? It's one of the possibilities. Sir, to make it short. I want to make it short because yeah. we only have... Yeah, it's one of the possibilities. 15, another another is that the money hasn't been lost gambling. And she still has the money? Yes. Okay. I can't tell him enough. If I have the money, do you, do you think I will be here working? Do you think I'd rather be here working my ass off and be far away from Emily? Where are you at right now, ma'am? In Australia? Sir, I'd rather, I'd rather not say. Okay. Kasi ang, ang dami niyang threat sa akin eh. Kung okay. gusto niya, sir, off, off air, sasabihin Sige ko pa. sa inyo kung saan ako. 
Pero ayaw ko pang sabihin na nandyan siya nakikinig kasi sir, pwede kong pakita sa kanya sa iyo yung mga threats niya. Okay. Okay, sige po. Sir, what is it exactly that you want? Well, what money I could recover, and that's quite possibly none, assistance with the sale of the house in Das Marinas. Okay. So at least I can recover something. Okay, I can help you with that. And we have been mercilessly mucked around by the developer Phil Invest. That title, they claim, is going to take some 20 months after payment to them. Like I said, yes. I can call Phil Invest. Apologies. And the same time with a letter from her giving permission to Phil Invest to release the title of the property to you. They have that already. Okay, so that you can sell it. You don't have to sell it to Pagibi. You can sell it to any other private individuals mm. who might have the money or the cash that you need, like $7.5 million or even more, mm. you know, so you can have that much money in the bank later on. Mm. Okay, that I can help you. That I can guarantee that Thank I'm you. able to help you. Aside from that, is there any other thing that you want the me to do? invest, and then I just have some practical problems that I cannot afford. And what are those practical so problems? I, I, the most practical and pressing Which is, is the relocation of a dog. What about the dog? It needs to be relocated to a province where someone's agreed to take it. Phoebe. Okay, what kind of dog is it? It's an Alsatian, so they're not easy to give away. You, you want us to help you relocate the dog? From no, you asked me what problems I had. Yeah. To find a really good new home for that dog. A good new home. So you want it, you I want, want to the, adopt. I want the dog happy. You want to adopt that dog, have it adopted. Or I, I, my preference is to send it to my friend, but if the well, alternative... What's your friend? Baby. To give it to her? Yes. Give it to her. Where I, is the I dog can't, now? I can't afford to pay to get it to her well, where, Where's the dog now? At Des Marinas. In Des Marinas? Yes. And then where does she live? General, General Santos. General oh, Okay. Santos. So very easy. So get the dog now and I'll have it transported to General Santo City. Well, if you could do that, that, I'll would, do that. that would be Done. wonderful. Okay. That would be wonderful. Sige. Done. Thank you. I'll Thank have you it. Thank you so much. I'll, I'll, I'll take care of it. Okay. Have that dog transported to Jensen. Yes. Even tomorrow if you want to. Thank you. I can do that. Thank Anything you. Anything else? No. Okay. Ma'am Maria Leonora, okay na po tayo? Apa. Opo, sir, Rafi. Thank you po, sir. So, meron kang gustong sabihin kay Mr. Uh, McHenry. Mr. Mah McHenry, later on, I would like you to say something to uh, your ex-wife. Well, well, I hope this is going to be the last time and you won't, no one would bother me anymore because I have done everything. I have signed everything you have asked me to. So, I'm trying to move on, you know, and live peacefully. So, please, tell your mis mistress that stop sending messages to my daughter and stop sending messages to me. Hmm. Thank you. Okay. How about you, Mr. McHenry? Would you like oh, to say I, something? I hope life goes better for her than it has more recently. I hope she stops gambling and I hope she meets someone nice and gets on with her life. I've got no inherent structural bitterness towards her at all. I just want out of this mess okay. as best as I can. Okay. Yeah. Nicely said. Alias Ann, does she gamble? No. Nag susugal po kayo? And does not gamble. Nagbibusiness po ako. Ah, good. Huwag niyo na pong gawin yung ginawa ng kanyang ex, mm. which is bad. Yung nagsusugal. At saka, sir. So, okay. Would you like to say something to Miss Maria Leonora? Iko-correct ko lang yun po, sir. No, kung can you say it in English? Yes. So she po. can understand. If I wrote a letter, but that letter, it does mean that it disgrace. But that letter, just to let my feelings know that it's not. Uh, it's a good letter uh, for their intentions. If they're going to have a reconciliation, that I just clear my name that I am just here to help this man because I am very pity with him. I don't need his money. I have my own business. I raise my kids. I have my professional now. When I wrote the letter, the intention for that is if we can avoid to reach this point, if they can fix everything to them, I'm going to give the way for them for reconciliation and everything and that letter is there. There is no bad intentions for that. That is for the good. Yes, yes okay. sir. Okay. So, Ma Maria Leonora, would you like to say something or you have any words for uh, Miss yes, Anne? Uh, yes, Anne. Whatever your intention was, good or bad, you're still a mistress. So, just please keep your boundary and I'll keep mine. All right? Okay. Thank you. Okay, mm -hmm. that should do it. Extraordinary statement from someone who's done the things she's done, but yeah, let's call it quits. Okay. Do you have a boyfriend now? I have not. I have, I have 
thoughts or you have not seen a single man with me i have you on the other hand have brought your mistress at home the moment you mm. kick my daughter out and my mom so that's it i mean anyway, i didn't, we're, we're, I didn't fly we're, to that's sydney finished. to meet that's, one that's whilst we're happily married that's, did i i didn't done. fly to sydney and lie about it whilst we were happily married so you could go and make love to uh, another australian Whilst we were happily married, I thought. You're uh-huh. the adulteress. That's, Don't worry that's about your allegation, You're Tim. Anyway, that's adulteress. finished. It's not, a, it's not an allegation. Done. It's a fact because you know that he and I actually speak now. Aaron well, Vivian Clark do, well, and do, I do speak you want... often about you and his affair with you whilst we were married. So don't come all prim and proper. You've got no justification At least I know. For it. You're the one who brought your mistress home when you kicked my daughter and mum out. Yep, when okay? our marriage was over. Mistress is not the word you should be using. Adulteress, okay? But I won't. Very so good. So let's leave it peacefully okay. and we'll move on. Very okay? Good. So, so in other words... Is that all? Ibig sabihin, pareho siya nagkasala. Si mum, habang sila kasal pa, meron din daw kumabit. And then itong si sir... Habang sila kasal pa, kumabit. So, parang may allegation na gano'n. Let's end it that way. So, let's call it Uh-oh. quits. Okay na. Nagawa na si ma'am. So, sir, so anong kailangan nyo sa akin, Sir Rafi? Okay I mean, na. do I need to sign a documents towards you o okay na sila? Okay na po yun, ma'am. We, first of all, tutulungan po namin sila na tatawagan ko po yung fill-in best para yung pong property sa may Dasmarinas Cavite, ma-release po yung title so that Mr. Uh, McHenry would have a hold of that property and he can sell it anytime he wanted to uh, nang sa gayon uh, mabawas-bawas po yung kanyang uh, problema pinansyal and then pangalawa tutulungan ko po siya yung, yung aso po na nasa Dasmariñas eh, may transport ko po transport papuntang Jensen doon po sa bahay ng kanyang new girlfriend yun po. so so na with that sige sir Rafi uh, uh, salamat po ma'am sa sir, pagtanggap ng aming tawad thank you thank you po G- uh-uh. good, good afternoon so, to you. Uh, Sir Rafi, uh, Ma'am. I will I will I will email Phil Invest para ma-assist po kayo ng maigi din. Okay. At least hey, I... from me po 'yun okay. na ano. Okay, meron pa daw well, sabihin. Last last one na lang po. Go ahead po Mr. McKenna. Whilst, whilst Leah is there, there is one thing. It's only as recently as last week that I've asked her to sign something in relation to the house mm. and the offer was she would do so if I paid her money, which I am not inclined to but do. But now she's not paying. But no. now she can make a promise right. to you, to you, that she will sign what else she will is sign. needed to be. Without any I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon, Timothy. I asked you can to you sign please, something. No, can you please read my email to you? I did not ask you for money. You didn't even ask me what I want. You said you what's in it for I me. You assumed I wanted money. What's in it for no. me? What do you think that means? Uh, Okay. You didn't even ask me. You didn't, res- even, you didn't even ask me what I wanted. No, I, I res- would have just said, I want the fridge. I want the fridge and the washing machine. Oh. Well, you, you know? wouldn't have got them. Oh. Okay. But anyway. anyway. So, so, wala na pong pera kayong hihingin sa kanya. Kapalit nung pong uh, title. Wala po. Wala okay. po. Wala no po. money. Okay. No money. No money. Nothing. He, he But just ex- assumed... Honey. That's what I want. <laughs> okay. And because that's what he thinks, he's always right kasi, ka, kasi he's a lawyer. So Okay. So anyway, ma'am, uh, very clear to us now that he's not asking for money in exchange for you signing over that property in Das Marinas and you said you're going to help it's us. It's been signed. With- It's been signed po, sir. Okay. Nasign na po yan eh. Tapos na yan. And then you will go... Hindi ko lang alam kung ba't pa nila pinalaw. And then you will write a letter pinala- to the Phil and Best and telling Phil and Best to help us release that document to uh, Mr. McHenry Asap so he can sell it anytime he wants, right? And he knows that. Yes, Opa. Thank you. Thank you. Clear. Thank you. Mm-mm. Thank you so much for your time, Ma'am Maria Leonora Nassis. And thank, thank you, you very much. Po, Maganda Rafi. hapon po, Ma'am. Mm. And uh, thank Mr. You, McHenry, thank you for coming. Thank you. And uh, we will assist you, especially on that property. Uh, I am so grateful. Property. Thank and you so much. Same thing for the dog. Okay. God bless you. Thank so you So when would you much. like that dog transported to Jensa? How big is that dog? I haven't seen that. Shepherd, but, sir. A German Shepherd? Yes. That's a big dog. Yes. How old is the German Shepherd? About four. Four years old. Four and a half. Four and a half. Okay. Very gentle with us. Of course. Do you, with so others. You live in gen- I'll have it transported. Yes. Yeah, okay. So. That's wonderful. Thank you so much. Problem solved. Yes. Thank you.